Alexander Mikhailovich Ruchenko, born 5th of December 1891, was a Russian artist, graphic designer, sculptor, and most notably, a photographer. Ruchenko married a Russian artist much like himself, Vavara Stepanova. Ruchenko was a very versatile artist. Originally he was a painter, but he later claimed painting to be dead upon the release of compact, handheld, lightweight cameras by the very popular Leica. Rochenko wrote about the need to eliminate cameras that you held at waist level. Because of cameras like the Leica, it allowed Rochenko to shoot photos at angles that hadn't been seen before. Rochenko placed his photo montages in a magazine called USSR in Construction, which he himself designed. The magazine's purpose was to showcase political propaganda to glorify the Soviet Union. It displayed Rochenko's mastery of photo montage. These montages suppressed each image individually and put them together to great effect. He cut, pasted, retouched and re-photographed his images to create strange and futuristic pieces of work. His most famous photograph to be published in USSR in construction is the image of the White Sea Canal workers. The purpose of Rachenko's work in his magazine was to promote the magazine. By using his skill in photo montage, Rachenko transformed this picture. He made tired, grumpy workers look determined and proud. He also upped the contrast to make it that much more clearer. The truth behind this photo would soon be revealed as these determined workers are actually political prisoners and 200,000 of them would die working the 140 mile White Sea Canal Gulag. Orchenko was a very influential artist. His most famous influential piece was of the woman Lilia Brig. Dutch punk band The X used a very similar image on their vinyl covers. More home based is the band Franz Ferdinand, who also based their album cover, You Could Have It So Much Better, on Lilia Brick's posture. Franz Ferdinand's cover from their song Take Me Out was also based on Rachenko's work. The poster for one sixth part of the world was the basis for the artwork. My personal favourite Rachenko photograph is of the poet Vladimir Mayakovsky. His eyes are transfixed to the camera. This looks creepy. I can't tell if he's miserable or if he's slightly grinning on the left side of his lips. Rochenko died in 1956, and Vavara Stepanova two years later. Alexander Rochenko is another example of an artist who was only fully appreciated after his death.